So how much would you pay for this beautiful unspoiled landscape? What's that worth? It's only taken the universe, uh, you know, 13 billion years to come up with it. That's the point of the song, is to realize what we're giving up when we take action, I guess. We are co-sponsors of Art in the Endangered Landscape, which is the event that's happening up here today. And so we've got a ton of artists out kind of all over the landscape documenting this really special place and the species that live here. And the art that comes out of today's efforts will actually be going on a, a traveling art tour throughout the state um, later this fall so that we can really celebrate this landscape, um, celebrate the artists and the art that they're able to produce and bring awareness as to what's going on up here at Wolf Creek to a broader audience. I think what's really uplifting for me in this show process is how the artists really stepped up. I appreciate each and every one of them. I also feel like it's kind of a collaboration, you know, in our studios. We're such narcissists because we're doing paintings our way, by ourselves. And out here you feel like you're part of a greater thing with, you know, showing the environment as it is. And it's a bit of that kind of collaborative fun, you know, that I don't get to do all that often. That waterfall over there, it's got a nice S-curve to it, got great trees up in the top. So part of this show is to promote these local artists and for them to actually be able to sell their art to the public. And we combine that with the environmental message of the beauty of Wolf Creek Pass in a wild state, how it is today. No wolf walks the banks of the creek. The basis for my inspiration really is the landscape, so when I see areas like this uh, and consider the kind of thing that's happening here, it very much is a part of what I find concerning about how we engage in the environment. So from an environmental perspective, you know, we're at over 10,000 feet high on the Continental Pass, movement corridor, lynx, rare wetlands. Um, this is really a special place ecologically and one that we would uh, hate to see destroyed for, for one developer's uh, money-making interest. We've had to fight the government and in fact sue the government to get them to release the project documents. It was a poorly constructed process, really driven or at least influenced um, unduly by the developers. And the Forest Service has used an improper process to review its own process internally. We really think that the federal government still works for the people, but in order for that to happen, we need people to raise up their voices and to speak out and let their elected representatives as well as the Forest Service know that they want Wolf Creek Pass preserved. So this really is a celebration of art, environmentalism, and music.